So I am here with a very special guest, Kat Cressida. You are the voice of Constance in the Haunted Mansion. How are you enjoying DT D23 so far? I am loving it. I've been here for one day and I am ready to say it's been an awesome day. I can't imagine someone doing it for three days. You guys are heroes to me. <laughs> Y'all. It, yeah, it's been a very, very jam-packed three days. Now, Voice of Constance, how did that come about? Was that something you auditioned for, or did they just pick you? How did that come about? I would like to say that they said, we're, we have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for a very special voice actress, so who is the most worth? Cat Cressida. It did not happen that way. It was an audition, and they went completely wide uh, throughout the voiceover community, and originally um, they thought they were going to use the same actress to do both the photographs that you see in the gallery and the voice and they very quickly decided that the voice element was very important because you were going to hear it as you entered the attic and that it really defined the character so they separated it out and really wanted to focus on um, a voiceover great you know to find the perfect fit for what they envisioned for the voice and how soon did you find out that this was for the Haunted Mansion when you auditioned not for a few rounds. So initially it was just, Kat, there's something cool I'd like to bring you in on. I think that you might be right for. I can't tell you what it's for because it's Imagineering and it's for the parks, but um, it's think classic Disneyland. And immediately you sort of go, okay, well, there's only a few things that really we think of as, you know, there's pirates, there's Bear Country Jamboree and mansion. So somewhere in my gut, I sort of thought maybe it was for the mansion but they weren't they weren't really going to add something to the classic mansion so I didn't really know and then uh, callbacks was when they said so you're a bride again think classic Disneyland and maybe think a little bit towards the haunted mansion <laughs> maybe that's great now the when you see Constance in the ride uh, they do you do see her face so is it your is it your face it's based on your face you said it's uh Computer. I mean, they shot reference video, uh -huh. um, and they, of course, have a, a beautiful young actress who's the in, in the portraits. Uh -huh. I believe what I was told by the exec producer was that it was a melding of reference video, of uh, making sure the you know the mouth and the eyes and everything. But it's sort of an original computer-generated character as well. Okay. Now, when you go to the parks, what what are some of the favorite things you like to do? <gasps> everything. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I don't know if you know my backstory, but I was raised within the imaginary culture. Oh, no. So a little bit, little bit of legacy. And um, so I grew up understanding, you know, Tiki Room, Lincoln, audio, animatronics, probably more so than a lot of four-year-olds would have known. Um, so I still love just going to the park as I did when I was a little taught just to see Walt's place and to walk around and I've been on the attractions you know since there were tickets um, so uh, you know e-tickets and all that yeah. so to me it's not so much about the attractions although I'll, an I'll be happy to answer your question but I more just love being there where yeah. Walt you know to stand in front of the firehouse and look at his apartment and to show people the blueprint tour of it because um, I don't know if Tammy told you but I also was a cast member no, I didn't know that. How yeah. long were you cast so, for? Um, just a couple of summers uh, getting through college. Okay. One of the things that I did. Yeah, yeah. And um, first voiceover gig was Storybook Land. Yeah, and I was just going to say, you were telling me a little bit about your history. The Haunted Mansion wasn't the first thing you've done. You've done a lot of other things, too, as well. Yeah. Um, so back, uh, I don't know if you remember, there was a Lincoln, Great Moments of Mr. Lincoln, where they exper experimented with binaural sound and was very honored to do that with Pete Renaday, voice of Henry from uh, Bear Country Jamboree, among many other things. And and then they replaced the binaural sound with another update, which uh, my homie Josh Shipley uh, had a, a lot to do with with Tony Baxter. And then um, after that did something for, I think it was for Singapore Disney, or they were experimenting. It was sort of Arabian Nights meets Pirates of the Caribbean, okay. voiced that, and then uh, Tower of Terror. Uh, Tower of Terror is my favorite attraction, so you, um, oh. Fair attraction of all time. So, what, what were exactly, <laughs> precisely, exactly? Um, what, what exactly did you do in the Tower Terror? I am the voice of the little girl lost in the fourth dimension. Okay. So there's a giant chalk circle that's a replication of a famous Twilight Zone episode mm -hmm. with little girl lost, and it's on a, like a three or four minute loop, audio loop, where it gets very loud at certain points with her crying out. Can anybody hear me? Singing, a lot of singing. 
very poltergeist. I mean, it was the inspiration for poltergeist, yeah, yeah. actually. So uh, it's very cool. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you so much for sitting down and talking to us. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your expo. And if we can just end it, I would love if you can recite just one line from the Haunted Mansion as Constance. I do. I did. That sounds amazing. <laughs> that sounds great.